Hello Vectrex fans, Vectrex are here giving you another quick Vectrex demo video. Today's demo, the Vectrex trackball. Well, what you see in front of my Vectrex right now is a trackball. What this is is a conversion using an old Atari trackball made for the 2600 and inside is a hardwired button remapping to the Vectrex button as well as an analog to digital converter circuit that is tied into the analog joystick portion. So movement of the trackball is relevant to the joystick movement and then the normal buttons for the Vectrex are mapped in. Now what's the purpose of the trackball? Well as you all know in the past John Donzilla made one of several versions of Patriots and this is the original Patriots that he made for me and Patriots is a fun game in itself. It has a pretty cool setup for controlling the crosshairs. Patriots, if you didn't know, by the way, is the Missile Command clone on the Vectrex platform. Anyway, in Missile Command, you would normally have a trackball on the Missile Command arcade system. So this was noted, and someone, and I forget who, I'll put the name later inside of the comments section, a person was nice enough to create a trackball with an analog to digital converter circuit in it. So first I've got in place a Sean Kelly multi-cart and we're just going to run a test program just to show you how it looks. Later I'll pop in Patriots for a quick demo. For your information, the button mapping is as follows. Both sides are mapped the same way. This is button 1, button 2, button 3, and button 4. So we can use the buttons to navigate the menu system of Sean Kelly's multi-cart and select it. And I'll go to the joystick test page. So button 1, button 1 on this side, button 2, and button 2 on this side, button 3, button 3 on this side, button 4, and 4 on this side. And when we move the joystick, you'll see the corresponding port go full range of motion. So up, down, right, left, and of course, if you're going in at an angle, that's accounted for as well. Now, the converter in here isn't perfect. It doesn't go at a micro-sized angle like you might get on the analog portion of the joystick, but John Donzilla's Patriots game really didn't take that much advantage of any slight movement. He depended on rather just the full digital usage of the Vectrex joystick, so the Vectrex trackball implementation is really the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and pop in the Patriots cart now. We'll give it a quick play. Sorry for the lighting setup. Just the way it is this time. I wanted to highlight the trackball as much as possible, but I do have a few shadows, so my apologies for that. So we'll just go ahead and go into game one. Oops. Kinda cool to actually play Patriots with a real trackball. Now it's nice to be able to swap off if you're left-handed. It's nice to be able to swap off to the other side. And I definitely thank the original creator, whose name I will mention in the comments later, for configuring the trackball to support right or left-handed people.
<laughs> All right, first wave done. So for buttons, I kind of prefer my right hand. I'll tell you what, after playing several games, it's nice to have the option to swap off. Because as you can imagine, the button tension is the same as it ever was. And these are these Atari trackball button tensions are kind of stiff. Actually, the, the <laughs> oops, out. city died well I'm gonna go ahead and call that the end of this demo and I hope you've enjoyed the Atari trackball conversion into the Vectrex